Hello guys, it's Shit Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel and today I'm just recording, you know, here just on the sunny part of my house uh, we just have the, the washing machine there and so on but it doesn't really matter you, you guys know that I like to do some casual recording from time to time in several... yeah, it doesn't really matter Well, for this video we are going to do the unboxing of the RX 9070 XE so if you want to see how the Sapphire Pure model looks, how it looks, how it feels and so on, this is the video for you. If you want to see how it performs, you have the review already ready, already ready on my video section. You just go there and it will be there. And again, I want to thank AMD for sending the card for reviewing and in this case, I'm gonna un unbox it. Um, yeah, this coffee is really good. Like today's sponsor. Today's video sponsor is GVG Mall, bringing you lots of software deals like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So let's unbox. So here we are now on the unboxing part and this is the Sapphire Pure version which is basically the white version of the Sapphire Pulse you have the, the Pulse, the Pure, the Nitro and you have some other versions I believe but they are all um, kind of versions that stand out after the Pulse uh, so kind of the Pulse G or B, something like that yes, Pulse B, then you have the Pulse now you have the Pure and then you have the Nitro which is the top tier and all we have is basically Sapphire the, the box is pretty simple, Sapphire, saying here Sapphire, Sapphire Pure, or like my brother said, it means like puke, it seems puke. Uh, AMD Radeon RX 9070 XT here, and then OC Overclock, 16 gigabytes, and HDMI, and that's basically what we have. On the side, we don't really have that much, only Sapphire with a QR code, uh, AMD Radeon 9070 XT, and that's basically it. On the other side, it's around the same, only saying Sapphire, and then the RX 9070 XT. On the back we have a bit more information, nothing really huge, but a bit more. So we have, for example, on this side we have Radeon 9070 XT, and then we have key features with AMD RDNA 4, 64 compute units with third generation ray tracing and second generation AI accelerators. Then we have AMD HyperRx, AMD Fidelity FX Super Resolution, so it doesn't even mean or doesn't even say FSR 4, that's what I meant, it just says FSR. Then we have DisplayPort 2.1a, which is the latest version, I believe. As for the system specifications, uh, if you are looking for the power supply, it does say 750 watts minimum, which is not that, well, strange. As for here, we have all you need for ultra-fast gaming with one-click boost, supercharged with AI, immersive ray tracing and stream like a pro because we do have better things like better streaming codecs, better recording and streaming codecs, so basically that's it. Still, um, yeah, not really much, so they don't really mention much here. Then we have, of course, the, the Sapphire Pure part with a card here, which looks fine, and all the other shenanigans, so let's open it. Open the box, a normal cardboard box. Then the sponge, and that's basically it. That's basically what we have, actually. So let's put it on the other side. The Sapphire Graphics Installation or Quick Installation Guide. Then the synchronized addressable RGB effects on the motherboard, meaning that you can connect your GPU to the motherboard in order to have your computer with all the same effects. Um, that's basically a quick guide for it. And then we have the Graphics Card Supporter Installation Guide, which is basically a GPU holder that we have. So nothing really new, but it's nice to have at least. Then, of course, uh, we have the accessories. Again, the GPU holder, I suppose, talking about it. And one nice thing that I like is that the GPU holder is still in, is also in white, not still in white, but also in white. And it looks quite cool, actually, if you ask me. And then, of course, we have the cables in order for you to connect your GPU to the motherboard in order to do the async RGB addressable effects and so on, so on, so on. As for the GPU itself, dun -dun 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 -dun, and here we have it and it looks quite nice i'm not gonna lie and it's actually thicker than i than i suppose it would be so in in terms of in terms of length it isn't nothing spectacular so everything that we've seen in the past couple of years i guess but in terms of i i, I mean 
I would expect this kind of thickness for the nitro version, for the nitro version, sorry, but not for the um, for the pure version. This is actually a pretty nice and thick radiator in order to have more heat dissipated. So it seems like the, temp the temperatures will be nice even on the pure version. But anyway, let's start from the top. We have here the GPU die open, which is one of the best things that you can get in terms of temperatures and so on. Then we have it saying AMD Radeon and Sapphire Pure on the backplate as well. As for the backplate, we have here the cuts for the power pin connections. And then we have another massive cut for the radiators in order to have a way better heat dissipation system. So way better cooling ability. And it's interesting that this card layout kind of seems like the, the, um, the older Vega layout, Vega 56 and Vega 64 layout that we had on the, on the Pulse versions. Um, with all this huge thing for the radiators. But anyway, I'll show you the Vega, the Vega cards in a moment. So on the side, we have the Sapphire logo, and I'm pretty sure that this lits up because we kind of have a paper to take off or a plastic in this case. Let me just check it out. Then we have saying Radeon on the side. Again, nothing really spectacular. On the front, we have the usual three fan layout with one with the one in the middle being actually smaller than the other two. Again, nothing really spectacular in between the, the pattern. On the side, it is like this. On the other side, like this. So we have the fins, the radiator fins. Nothing, again, nothing new. As for the inputs and outputs, we have only two HDMI and two DisplayPort cables or entrances, as you wish. And I would honestly, I mean, honestly like to have something like USB-C. I mean, it's time for GPUs to bring USB-C connection. My 6800 from AMD and my 7900 XTX from AMD have USB-C, I believe, and it's a very nice thing. Now, remember what I told you about the layout? Let me get the Vega 56 card, the Pulse Edition, and I'll show you the, the different layouts. So this is the Vega 56, the Pulse Edition. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Let me just... As you can see here, for you guys to see that I'm not lying, it says RX Vega 56. Uh, and of course, the, the card is way smaller, as you can see in terms of size, it is definitely way smaller. And in terms of, of thickness, it is, yeah, much, much thinner. As you can see, the newer card is much thicker, which is actually great in terms of, of course, in terms of of cooling ability. But what I was talking about here was the back. And as you can see, it doesn't have the full ventilated version like this one, like the Vega 56, which is kind of okay, I guess, but it is what it is. But it does have a pretty huge cut for the ventilation system for the hit fins. And there are more cards, more different cards that I can show you, like the 5700 XT. And this card is the Nitro model, so it is not the, the Pulse model, it is the Nitro one. But even here, you can see that we have a small cut for ventilation for the hit fins as well. Um, and, and it is not as big as this one, so they definitely changed that. But one thing that I like about the Sapphire cards is that almost every single one of them has the open die, or the back, the back of the die, of course, which is nice to see. But in terms of, yeah, the other one just looks much cooler. This one is the 7700 XT and there is the Sapphire Nitro and to be honest, this is one of the coolest and most awesome designs that I've seen in a while. As you can see, simple but really, really cool. Once again, Sapphire Nitro 7700 XT, kind of grey, then on the side we have this huge RGB LED. Uh, on the back as well, back is very nice in the Sapphire Nitro, but I believe that the Nitro model for these new cards will be even better. I really want to get one if I can. And as you can see again, the fin is there, but or the open for the fins is there, but quite smaller. While on this one, the 9700, the 9070 XT, sorry, um, yeah, it is just way bigger. But maybe that functions very well in terms of temperatures, but we'll see, I guess. So far, very nice. And well, guys, in terms of temperatures and, and looks and so on, yeah, the, the GPU has an RGB LED that you can connect to, the, to, your, to your motherboard and connect it to the color schemes that you have. And you can do several things to it. That's why we have the RGB cable. Uh, the normal pattern isn't that good looking. I would like to have something like, for example, uh, white or have, for example, the Radeon letters with RGB instead of having the, the Radeon logo normal and then Sapphire saying Sapphire with 
LEDs, but yeah, it is what it is, I guess. As for the quality of the card, the card is very well done, very well built. Even when you put it on your motherboard, it just basically sits very well with almost no GPU sagging. So you don't really need, or you don't really absolutely need to use the GPU holder, but the card still brings a GPU holder, which is a nice addition. And if you want to know in terms of temperatures, it is also very good. So the temperatures are, even at stock, when you, when you are going at, let's say like, 320 watts, you'll be completely fine with core temperatures of 50 something. The GPU temperatures, the, the GPU junction will be usually from like 15 degrees, 15 degrees above, 10, 15 degrees above the core temperatures. It is completely fine. If you overclock, the junction temperatures will be a bit higher, like up to 20 degrees, but still the GPU is so, so cool that even if you have a, a 20 degrees delta, it will be like going from 60 maximum to, to 80. On the junction so it is not not an issue actually not an issue still very good card and i can definitely advise so if you like or if you have a white build and you want a, a gpu the 9070xt pure from sapphire is definitely the way to go that's all for this video guys thank you very much for watching don't forget to like subscribe and share this video and see you in the next one by the way i will also be releasing of course the 40 games at 1440p 4K and 1440p ultra wide on the 9070XT, and I'll be releasing uh, today maybe the 9070XT versus 7800XT versus the 4070 Super. Stay tuned.